Hey guys, Extreme Maps here. Today we'll make a video on how to make an easy, simple intro in Cinema 4D. Um, it will be pretty basic, so if you are like a graphic designer or something, um, this won't look uh, that good. You know, maybe it will be boring, you might think. Um, so this is for beginners only. And uh, even though it looks a bit boring, it's still simple and clean, so it looks pretty nice anyway. So we want to start off by going to the render settings and make it HD. So go to output, click this arrow, film video, and uh, any of these two doesn't matter. Um, I think this one. So uh, on the frame range, you want to have it to all frames instead. And uh, this animation is only 90 frames long. So that's just like five seconds or something. Uh, so if you want to be longer, just change this right here to around um, 170 or something. And uh, yeah, so now we're gonna start making the text object. So go to MoGraph and text object. Change the text to whatever you want. I'm just gonna have like test and. Uh, I want to have another font. So just pick a font that you like. And then change the depth to to 100. So now this is what we have. Um, now you want to make some materials. Or actually just one material. So double click here. And then double click this thing. And uh, on the color, you want to change it to a red color, or it doesn't have to be red, but it looks nice. Then go to reflection and drag it down the brightness to around 15. Then you want to go to this arrow, click for now, and drag this down to around 15 as well. And uh, add some blurriness, maybe around 7-8%. Then you just want to drag that to the text. So uh, now this is what we have. Pretty simple, pretty, you know, almost nothing. So now I want to make some lights to make it look better. So just click this right here. And uh, I want to have one light right here somewhere. And uh, then I want to duplicate that, so I'll hold control and drag this down. And I want to have the other one on the other side. And then I want to create like a wall behind the text, so I'll go to this icon and then to floor. And it's going to rotate it like this and move it back. Uh, you want to make it bigger, or you can just move it to the side, like this. And um, then what you can do is you can start the camera animation. So go to here and click camera, and you want to make sure this little thing is sticked. Then you choose where you want the animation to start. So I want mine to start right here somewhere, and uh, then you want to click this little keyframe button right here, move it to the end, and change it. So this is where the animation will stop. Like that, and click the keyframe again. So now we've got a little animation here, like this. Uh, pretty slow and boring, but we're going to add some effects to the text to make it look a lot better. So we'll go to the text and click C. That will make every individual letter editable. So we want to start with T, and we just want to rotate it randomly.
then go to the next letter, rotate that one, and uh, you don't want to make the letters sort of penetrate each other, then it will look good. So now, um, this will look like out of control, but just wait a second. I'll go to the first frame and then choose all these. This is basically um, the uh, every letter T E S T. So choose the top one, hold shift, click the bottom one, and that will select all the letters. Then click this keyframe button right here. Move to uh, around 150 and uh, then you want to go to coordinates and change your rotation to 0 and click this keyframe button again so now we've got a nice little animation here looks pretty nice so um, you can see that it kind of penetrated the T kind of went through the E but I don't really think that matters it was just a little small area so to make this look even better we can go to render settings effect and then ambient occlusion so this will create nice shadows um, if we render it now, we can see that it looks pretty nice. But ambient occlusion makes the render time a little bit longer, but it's worth it definitely. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you want, you can add a global illumination. So go to render settings effect the global illumination but I wouldn't really recommend that because the render time is so long so now all you gotta do is save the video so go to save and uh, choose wherever you wanna save it and then format quick time movie and to render the movie just hold down shift and click R but I didn't choose uh, where the, I wanted to save the file so it didn't work for me but um, yeah that's about it so uh, thanks for watching um, if you like this video click like and I'll see you in the next video